Today we're going to change some hair color in Luminar Neo and this technique kind of applies to anything from motorcycles to clothes. First off, it's great to start with an image where the hair has some color already. Like in this example, the hair is like a brownish color. This works well with, you know, blondes or redheads. It'll still work with people with black hair, it's just the color isn't as prominent but it still can work fairly well. First off, we're gonna head over to Essentials on the right and go under Color. Then we're gonna select Masking, Mask AI. We'll let it do its thing. And once it's complete, we're gonna select the Human Selection and it should outline everything here. Now, the reason why I do it this way, you might be asking why don't I just brush in the selection for the hair manually? The main reason is because if you look at the stray hairs, you see that the mask is picking up the stray hairs too. Whereas if I were to do this manually, it would take me too much time to zoom in there and be very accurate with the brush tool. So I tend to do it this way to save time. So from here, we want to go back into the brush section here. We want to make sure where the mask is showing as well. Within the brush tool, we want to make sure we click on erase and we're simply going to erase the mask from the face and any other areas where we want, where we don't want to change color. Now, obviously this could take some time. So again, please take your time with this. The good thing though, is that if you're not too accurate with the mask selection, you can always go back and make corrections. I also wouldn't worry too much about the stray hairs on the face for now. Do your best to where there is a skin tone. As I said before, we can make adjustments afterwards. So the hard part's done, at least for this image. And now we can go into adjustments to go into your HSL tab. Now, if it's not viewable, you just gotta click on it and it's gonna open up. We can go straight to the bottom and play with the hue shift. And you see, as we bring the slider to the left or to the right, you get your purples and your blues. And then to the right, we get your yellows and greens and also a bit on the blue side too. So I wanna make our hair kind of like a purplish color. There we go. You're gonna see also where the selections that I made weren't too accurate. So again, we can go back into masking here and make sure we're selecting our brush and erase it from where the color is showing through. Along with this, we can also play with the saturation and the vibrance. So again, if we bring the saturation up, you see how much more saturated that color pops out Vibrance will just give it a bit more oomph, <laughs> a bit more color. So if we wanted that vibrant, or maybe we want kind of more of a, a subtle color, right? Something like that. Now we can also do some other things to the hair. So first I'm gonna copy the mask and then we're gonna go into develop and masking. I'm gonna paint that mask. And now I can bring out other things in develop. So for example, maybe I wanted the shadows to be less in the hair and bring out those highlights even more. So if we do a before and after, you see now those, the details of the hair come out. Maybe I want it a bit more contrasty and I could play around with the overall exposure. If I want the hair to be darker, if I want it to be brighter. You get my point. Now, because there's so much red in this photo, what I'll do is use the same concept to do the lips, maybe get it to a similar shade of purple. Okay, now that my selection is done, we're gonna head into adjustments. We're going to go into HSL, leave it on hue, and we'll bring the hue shift down. Now you can really see where I missed selecting. 
That's one of the gripes I have with Luminar Neo's masking options where it's always red. You can't change the color. I think that would be super helpful. But again, we can fix it really easily. I want to settle on a color here. I kind of like, yeah, let's match it to a purple. We'll head back into masking, into brush, but this time actually I'm not going to show it because I want to see where I need to fill the mask in. So we're going to select brush, paint. We're going to paint these areas where I missed. I'm going to do a quick before and after for you guys to see and we've totally transformed this photo and uh, it looks great. As I said in the beginning of the video, this method applies to cars, motorcycles, airplanes, flowers, anything you want to do. One of the benefits of manually selecting your masks is that you can manipulate the color pretty much any object, any subject you want. All you need is a little bit of patience and a lot of practice. Now, if you're more of the artsy fartsy type and you want to turn your photos into paintings, check out this video where I cover how to use textures and blending modes in Luminar Neo to get that effect. For now, my friends, until the next video, I'll see you when I see you.